Hi guys! I know there are days and moments in our lives where we want to look extra made up, and aside from false lashes and eyeshadows, I think contouring really adds a bit of something something to your makeup. And my favorite way to do so is with concealer. So first, you must prep your face. I like to use a non-alcoholic toner on my face right after I washed it. And the reason why is because it's gentle on my skin, but at the same time, it helps with taking off the debris that my cleanser didn't catch, as well as any soap residues. Next, I lip balm myself up since I tend to get pretty dry puckers. It's good to apply before foundation so that it can soak into your lips before any gloss or lipstick. Then I use a good moisturizer to not only protect my skin, but it will also help your makeup go on smoother as well. Okay, so now it's time for the fun stuff. The first thing you want to do is use a concealer about 2-3 to three shades darker than you are. This way you can contour any features that you want to downplay. For example, your temples, if you have a wide forehead like I do, um, the hollow of your cheeks, a wee bit on the chin and jawline, and for me, definitely my nose. I like to dabble a little bit on the alar of my nose and also on the side of my dorsum. Also, some people will disagree with me on this, but I and some makeup artists feel that it's better to use a darker shade under the eye than a lighter shade, but you can use whichever works for you. Ah! Freak! Now you can use a concealer that is one shade lighter than you or the same shade as you. Okay, so I'm going to introduce to you guys a brand called Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer. Yes, it was sent to me to test out and it took me about a month before I said yes to them. However, I really do like the concealer because it covers well, it's blendable, it's buildable, and it dries to a matte finish. It claims that it can help with acne scars while you're healing up and I can't really test that out for you guys, but if it's pumped full of scar healing essentials, then I'm pretty much optimistic about it. Anyways, I'm going to dabble this stuff to where I want to highlight my features. So a little on the forehead, right on the dorsum of my nose, chin, cheeks, and of course on the brow bone. Use a flat foundation brush to blend everything out. I like to start under the eyes, then work from the center outwards blending into my hairline. Since the shades around the hairline are typically darker, it will look really good and not completely artificial. All you have to do is listen to a good song and take your time in this. Or fast forward. <laughs> If you like, for extra coverage, you can use just an itsy bitsy amount of foundation on top. Make sure to blend that outwards as well and just play with the amount. Okay, so this is really weird, but I like to pat my face down with a piece of tissue paper. This helps take off extra liquids that are from the foundation and the concealer. Then go ahead and use a really good quality mineral powder to set your foundation. Minerals aren't too thick and it will definitely let the hard work of contouring and highlighting shine through, but at the same time, it will give you a matte finish. You might not be able to tell the difference on camera, but trust me, when you try it out, you'll feel like a superstar rock star. And so I wish you guys good luck, and of course, I'm rusty with makeup, so let me know how I did. Have fun guys, and be sure to check out my last video for kicks and giggles, and of course, rock on beauty freaks, wahaha!